it's competition, 11.47pm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like a really long almost like the last <laughs> entry. <laughs> <laughs> so, last rites. Rose Cullen, 88 years of age. Two daughters, themselves pensioners, Violet and May. Three grandchildren, one great-grandchild. A marriage mercifully short to Charles. 48 years of widowhood. A handsome terraced house, 56 Firgrove Crescent, to go to her daughters upon her death. These are the facts of her life, and she knows that they make her much like every other old woman, just part of the human slipstream. Rose sees this in the eyes of her carers, the girls who come to get her dressed and in and out of bed morning and evening, who deal with the effluvium of age. A wet February afternoon, sky thickening with night already, and Rose is dressed for a visit. A mauve skirt and matching cardigan over a grey blouse. Clothes the carers selected from the bedroom wardrobe, now Rose doesn't bother with upstairs so much. Violet bustles into the front room, May in her wake. Rose goes to get up from her armchair, sits back down as a swab of Violet's rain-damp hair meets her cheek. Hi, Mum. Oh, for God's sake, you've still got the curtains open. It's dark out now, you know. Violet walks across the stained carpet to draw them, the brisk movements of her arms making her raincoat hiss. Sometimes she doesn't take her coat off at all during a visit, as if to politely signify the intended brevity. May, taller than her sister, and gangly, leans over to kiss Rose's cheek too. Rose knows that this is the last time she will see her daughters. She is dying, very definitely dying. At night, her mind is a riddle of doors flung wide, the long dead walking through bold as brass. Mornings, she has a job getting the doors closed again, in time for the carer's abrupt wake-up call. <laughs>